what's going on dominators last but not least um, the preview update episode also will be released in english <coughs> in the german episode i did quite some huge effort about more than two hours to get the complete new update patch notes which are pretty long this time actually uh, from the internet side or from the forum of dominations and uh, translated them to get a proper text so that we can understand what the developers want to announce to us. In this case right now, I think I don't have to do it. Here we have the uh, August State of the Nations and like I mentioned, it's a very long text this time. I think there are also a couple of redundant information so which should be clear to all of you. So in the very beginning, you see it's pretty long. In the very beginning, um, the 5.7 and 5.75 past update patch notes are getting remembered again. So I don't think I have to get through them with you. You all are able to read and understand English, I think. Um, therefore, I won't read the text together with you, but I have made a little summary for myself with the most important points and aspects I could figure out from the text, which will give us some further information for upcoming new contents and maybe some changings which will be done to the game. So let's step right into. First, we have another announcement about our league bonuses. You may have noticed that uh, the league bonuses already have changed. They have improved uh, in that way that if you are in higher leagues, um, especially above 2000 medals, you will get severe amounts of uh, resources, nearly 3 million gold and food either, or about nearly 14,000 oil, which you can gain from your league boat. And um, they will further improve this. The further improvements will be troop tactics, tactics, blessings, mercenary contracts and even mystery chests which you will be able to claim from the boat. There was also mentioned troop recruitments. I'm not pretty sure what they are meaning with troop recruitments. Possibly it's only um, a redundant formulation but probably they will also implement some new kind of uh, rewards. I don't know. Also with update 5.8 there will be permanently activated World War replays. So the beta phase finally ends after implementing, re, um, deactivating, re-implementing and then reactivating in a few days from now on. There will be with update 5.8 the um, complete implementation so that we don't have any testing phase more. But we have strange formulations over there. They are mentioning when problems occur, they want to search for solutions. They are not um, describing it as if problems occur, it's when problems occur. So that might be some kind of hint that they are already anticipating some other issues and troubles occurring. Previously, we will also have the 5.75 balance update. It will be an automatic update, therefore you don't have to uh, to download and to install anything. Um, the formulation about here is a few weeks after the summer of ages, so probably at the end of September because currently we have the global age week running. With this balance update we will get uh, also the tiebreaker re-implementation as first big aspect so that world was smaller and also we will get an improvement for our dogs because currently the developers seem to recognize that the dog is used only a very very few times and mostly in the lower ages. High age players which have uh, already upgraded their dogs are suffering from the high costs of citizens and uh, time which they have to spend to get any rewards from the dog. Therefore the um, improvement will be that way that lower levels of the dog the times and the citizen costs will probably increase slightly and in higher ages, so if you have upgraded to stage 7 I think or stage 8 probably, um, you will get, you will have to pay less citizens and less time to get some uh, valuable rewards. There are also new informations about a completely new and probably striking defense building which is called the missile silo which we get access to with the 5.8 update. In the beginning of the battle it is descripted as inactive, so no threat for the attacking person, but then probably by a time counter, I don't know, the threat will increase and so the missile silo will automatically arm 
and locking a position of the highest clustered enemy hit point accumulations. So we can anticipate with a strong um, splash damage of this building and also that this building is punishing really hard if you are dropping your troops or keeping your troops completely together so the spread out tactics uh, will be probably more comfortable against bases which are focusing on the silo um, the attacker but the attacker will be able a few seconds before the missile silo is launching or even hitting his troops to see where the attack is going to target or to um, to hit the ground and so if you have saved one of your rallies you can do some kind of safety rally which is well timed and get away off from the splash damage so the splash damage should not be that big otherwise your troops would be unable to get away from it um, after firing the rearming process will last for a couple of seconds probably about 10 to 20 seconds i don't know either um, how long this will uh, last before the uh, missile silo can shot can shoot again. Also, we have a decoy working against the silo. So again, like all other defense buildings, we can distract it. Then about our university, we get the new leader, which is pretty obvious. So all the leaders you can see before they are uh, implemented. And the last one, which is uh, not implemented currently, we have over here Montezuma, probably also called Moctezuma or Montezuma. You will get a big economic boost about him. So the descriptions are about minus 90% time for hunting, mining and collecting trees. So for example, a collecting a tree or a mine will cost in the end, if you have done this research, instead of 20 seconds, only 2 seconds, which is great, I think, because it's pretty annoying. Then we also will get plus 50% storage capacity for our oil wells, which is also very great because the higher you get in the ages and the more research you have done, uh, the earlier you always have to collect your oil uh, wells your drilling towers because otherwise they are full and stopping the production so in my case because of the current event when I have an, a blessing active I have to collect it every three all three hours otherwise I'm wasting oil increased storage capacity by 50% would be great also we will get in world war aspect we will be able to get 30% additional coalition values which is a very very lot so I think we will get five five times to research every time by six percent and when we are looking at our current values we see additional 30 percent makes our defense uh, or our um, coalitions in total nearly as double as strong as they are currently my ones are not that bad they are at level five and level six i think level five then we get the capstone tripled alliance from um Montezuma and there you will get one extra national trade good for every national trade good you are earning and there again the, there is an unclear formulation because they are talking about universal trade goods ordinary trade goods like you probably all know are um, related to the nation which you are farming but they are talking about that you can get every national trade good from every nation so probably they will implement effect um, that the trade goods are getting national and not completely related to their nations as it is so far. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what they are meaning. Also, we will get uh, a tactical helicopter nerf. So I cannot show it to you because I'm not in the uh, atomic age. But the helicopter seems to be a pretty valuable alternative to our healing cards. And the tactical helicopter is currently, like you probably know, too strong because it's pretty easy to farm oil with it. So we get a nerf of the helicopter, but in, um, instead of this, or otherwise, we will get an APC um, boost. So the first wave of infantrists of grenadiers, which are coming from the APC, will get boosted to spawn uh, earlier, so that you get much more, um, yeah, effect from them. We also will get a big patch for our castle. So the castle will function or will work pretty similar to the stronghold. So if you, even if you are sabotaging the castle or using Blitzkrieg on it and you are destroying it before the generals are coming down, uh, the generals in after the 5.8 update will definitely come down, but they will get wounded. So they won't have 100% of their health. Probably they will have about 60 to 70% of their health, but nevertheless they will come down. So if you face three time uh, level 50 generals on a castle, this will be pretty nasty because you can avoid the castle from uh, shooting and you can also avoid the generals from directly spawning but in total you cannot avoid it anymore after the update um, 
he has it pretty much everything also there were some claims about the matchmaking system and so the matchmaking variables uh, should get improved I'm not pretty sure how they want to do it because the complete system is running on false false values I'm sh uh, I, in my opinion but the overall uh, target of them which is announced is to make transparent um, matchmaking variables so in the optimum case the transparent variables make us understand why two alliances are getting matchmaked and also um, how much every of the enemy or of your own players is contributing to the overall ranking of the alliance so that you can see if one player is contributing a very much bigger part to the overall value then you see he has probably done some hidden or intransparent research which you cannot see by uh, simply evaluating his base so in total I think the 5.8 update could be again some striking uh, update we won't have that much new buildings and stuff like this but we get as pretty striking uh, new aspects about implementations or content of the game which is already in the game and like the history or like the past has shown some of these updates were the most striking ones not the updates where complete new buildings got integrated so we are seeing soon uh, when the update is out there we can do some conclusion work hopefully you enjoy it your domination tips.